The White House and the country learning of that new threat from Russian President Vladimir Putin, his nuclear warning to the world and to the U.S., and those images he used of missiles raining down on Florida. Putin declaring, you'll listen to us now. Here's ABC's chief global affairs correspondent, Martha Raddatz, tonight. Putin's annual State of the Nation was provocative and threatening. Giant screens showing missiles raining down on Florida and what was billed as an invincible intercontinental cruise missile. A nuclear-powered cruise missile, which Putin claimed could travel around any obstacle. And for anti-ballistic missile systems, he claimed, unstoppable. The missile shown headed toward the west coast of the United States. No one has listened to us, Putin said. You'll listen to us now. A U.S. official tells ABC News the missile is not yet in production, but the former vice chairman of the Joint Chiefs says there are concerns. The thing that distresses me, they've obtained a high assurance that their attacks would be successful by going to higher speeds and coming from different directions. Of course, President Trump has done little to turn down the heat. I want this, our nuclear arsenal, to be the biggest and the finest in the world. Putin's announcement also comes just days after the head of the National Security Agency said the U.S. has not done enough to punish Russia over election meddling. They haven't paid a price at least that's sufficient to get them to change their behavior. And Martha Raddatz with us live tonight. Martha, this threat of these new nuclear weapons from Putin and the rhetoric we've heard from President Trump, some are going to say this seems reminiscent of the Cold War. Are we looking at another one here? Well, David, if this keeps going in the same direction, it could certainly turn into that. But neither country really wants that to happen again. And for Putin's part, David, this is also about appearing strong domestically. The presidential election in Russia is just weeks away, David. That's right. On the eve of that election, Martha, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.